important media coverage, a lot of co-sponsors now on his bill that had almost no support a, a year ago, and that is to release 28 secret pages of the 9-11 report. And he, he, he's seen it. He's told us some of what's in it. It's incredible. Uh, it basically was allowed to happen, bare minimum. And he joined, and Saudi Arabia was clearly involved, as if we needed to know that. But it, it's, he's going to talk about that. But I, he's late because he was voting on a bill uh, to, and it looks like it's going to pass. And, and he's going to tell you about that, to save the unborn four months or older, unless it's a medical emergency, and then, then that's not abortion, that's just a procedure, and you can't kill these babies partial birth. So, uh, Congressman, we want to thank you for your work. Spend a minute on that. Then let's get into the 28 pages. Then we'll talk State of the Union. Okay, Alex, uh, great. What, what we had was the rule to, to form the outline of the debate, and it's uh, for, the, for your listeners, this H.R. 36. The title is Pain Capable Unborn Child Protection Act. And that means after the fourth month, the only way that a a woman could have uh, an abortion would be that if it was absolutely in the health of the woman, meaning that she would die if it was not done. So this is uh, to stop partial birth abortion. And uh, I want to give Trent Frank, he's the sponsor of the bill. I want to give Chris Smith, who's one of the strongest advocates of protecting the unborn. He's from New Jersey. And uh, I know this bill will pass. The rule passed that wasn't even close. Even quite a few Democrats voted uh, for the rule, which increased the debate. And we will debate this bill uh, this afternoon, and then we will vote on it tomorrow. And you believe it's going to pass? Yes, sir, I do. And you? Uh, what about the Senate? Well, the Senate is hard to read, but uh, I would think that, uh, again, their rules are different than the House. And you know that, and most of your listeners do. But I would believe if it's a straight up or down vote in the Senate, I think it would pass also. But I don't know what rules their debate will, will have, so that makes it a little bit difficult for me to give you a projection. Well, if but, Mitch McConnell doesn't stand in the way, it, it has a good chance of passing. Well, I, no, I, th I think the Republicans in the Senate will bring this up. I really do. They better. And, uh, I, I don't have any question that, that if they have the opportunity, they will bring it up. I really mean that. Uh, but it's, it's time for us to bring the gift from God to give the gift from God a chance to live. And that's the way I look at it. Well, if we get rid of this abortion industry, I think the curse that's on this country, and who can deny we're under a curse, will be lifted. I mean, who can kill 55 million babies and get away with it? And it's just, it's unbelievable. We're going I to break. We're going to break in a few minutes, uh, uh, Congressman Jones, but let's start talking about 28pages.org. Your move, your bill is getting a lot of attention. I know you just met with one of the heads of the 9-11 Commission a few weeks ago. Tell us about that, please, sir. Well, I'd like to tell you, your listeners, that, and I want to give a couple of numbers before you let me go this, af this afternoon. Uh, I want the, uh, people to know that the 9-11 families who lost so many loved ones when we were attacked on 9-11 have been calling for the a declassification of 28 pages that were declassified by the Bush administration uh, after 9-11. 9-11, we had a report that was, uh, the report was made by Bob Graham, Senator Graham, Richard Shelby was involved, uh, Porter Goss was involved, uh, and they have all been calling that these 28 pages be declassified. Alex, two weeks ago, Bob Graham, who now has a daughter in the Congress elected from Florida, Bob Graham came up and participated in a news conference with Congressman Steve Lynch, Democrat from Massachusetts, Walter Jones, myself, and uh, Thomas Massey, and 9-11 families. This is the third press conference we've had, the first one with Bob Graham, and he has said publicly there is no reason that President Obama does not keep his word to the 9-11 families that he would declassify this information. And I would ask your listeners to please go on the website of 28.com, uh, look at the uh, information on the website. I would also like to call, call ask your uh, listeners to call the White House. I'll uh, give that number very Absolutely. Quick. We're about to go to break. We're going to come back and give that website out and that phone number out multiple times. So get your pen and paper ready, folks. 28pages.org is what the staff told us is the best website to go to. 
and HRS 14. The phone numbers are on that site. We're going to come back and give you those numbers in three minutes. Congressman Walter Jones, a real patriot, is on the line with us. And where did 15 of the 19 hijackers come from on 9-11? We know where they came from, Saudi Arabia, so we attacked Iraq, something Congressman Jones has been fighting. So Politico points out, what's going on with Walter Jones and all these Republicans that he's got behind him that want to uh, you know, release these pages that will expose the Bush administration? Well, it's just called doing the right thing. And the minute other Republicans start acting like statesmen and not gangsters like Boehner, is the day we'll start turning this country around. Uh, but I want to go to Walter Jones. we got about 10 minutes left with him. The congressman joins us. Uh, you can go to the website, 28pages.org. We're also going to give out a phone number to call the switchboard. Uh, sir, uh, give us our marching orders. What do we do to push this over the edge and get these 28 pages uh, uh, released? Alex, uh, again, thank you. The families of 9-11... Ever since that tragic day that we were attacked by the hijackers, they have been calling on the president since President Bush. He is the one that when they came out with a 9-11 report, the administration reviewed it, and the Bush administration said, no, the 28 pages in this report must be classified. I have read the classified pages, and many of my colleagues have as well, the 28 pages. There is nothing, Alex, in here about national security. If it was, I would not be on your show. I would not introduce this resolution with two other members of the House. What we are asking people around this country, think about the pain of the 9-11 families and think about you, the American citizen. Don't you have a right to know the truth about who was behind 9-11? Absolutely yes is the answer to that. H. Resolution 14 Call the White House, and I'll give the number slowly, 202-456-1111. Now let me give the switchboard for your member of Congress, and that switchboard number is 202-224-3121. Call that member of Congress and say, look seriously at joining on House Resolution 14. Now, Alex, let me explain to your listeners very quickly. Any member of Congress in good standing can make a request of the Intel Committee in the House to read the 28 pages. I would hope that they would have time to do that. But if not, please just look, think about it this way. Just give the families what they've been asking for. They're the ones that, that were injured. Uh, this is a way for the families to get peace and the American people to know the truth sure. about 9-11. And, and, and I know you're not supposed to tell us everything that's in it, but when they use national security to hide crime, we have a responsibility. How much, I mean, you've talked about it before. I've talked to military people uh, that have been involved in the House that, that have seen, seen it. I mean, basically, it's that Saudi Arabia was running the operation. Well, I would say this because it's already been uh, actually Bob Graham, who was helped write the 9-11 report. He actually said at the news conference that the Saudis were behind the 9-11 attack. And also that this would allow the families, if these 28 pages could be published, this would help the families in their lawsuit against the Saudi Arabian government for damages that were done to uh, the American people on 9-11. My God, what type of apology do we owe the Iraqi people for blaming them for this? Well, I don't, I, you know, to me, I've got a post. I wish I could send it to you of a, of a uh, Saudi prince with a heavy stomach uh, leaning back on a, uh, a, a pillow and, and uh, smoking a, a cigarette with a holder and seeing Uncle Sam on his knees to the Saudi and the Saudi saying, uh, go get those ISIS thugs but don't spill any blood on my rug. It's I unbelievable. Wish, I wish I could send that to you. Uh, that's why this, again, this is about the families who are in pain. This is about the American people knowing the truth. We will not have government for the people if the people don't know the truth. And that's what this is all about. Well, you've got a lot of courage. You continue to bring in legislation to impeach Obama if he launches more wars without congressional authorization. You bring out legislation like this. 
I mean, I got to be honest. I love Ron Paul. He was on last week. I uh, love Ron Paul, too. <laughs> and he did a lot of great work fighting the Federal Reserve. But I think you now are even more bold than he was with the type of legislation you're, 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 you're uh, bringing forward, sir. And so I just want to say this. Everybody should be praying for Congressman Walter Jones because he's the type of leader who isn't a glitter bug, isn't some narcissist, but really cares about his family and grandchildren and this country. And we need more people in Congress like him. Uh, let's give that number out one more time. You can go to jones.house.gov. You can also go to 28pages.org to find all the information. Capital switchboard to talk to your member of Congress, 202-224-3121. Or White House, 202 202- Four five six one 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 one, and even mainstream media admits this is getting a lot of co-sponsors. It's gaining steam, but at least demand that the intelligence committees of the House and Senate read them, and then have these members publicly say they've read it. So when it does come out later, they're going to be held politically responsible for aiding and abetting the Saudis. Because I'm here to tell you. The Saudis are in an oil war right now with the U.S. to destroy our frackers. They're in a war with Russia right now. That's on record. And Saudi Arabia, I don't want to be a drama queen here, but we've even had some issues. I'm telling you, they're all over the U.S. I don't mean Saudi people, but the Saudi government is too big for its britches. It's manipulating Hollywood. It's buying off U.S. corporations. They're out of control. Yeah. And, 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 Congressman, have you had any... Uh, any uh, stuff go on, any scuttlebutt, any manipulation uh, because you're doing this to the Saudis? No, uh, Alex, I have not. And and the way I look at this thing, I, I know you're the same way. I'm doing God's will because God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to save our souls by his son telling us the truth. And that's what this is all about, is the truth of what happened on 9-11. And I have, I have, to me, I have no excuses but to seek the truth because that is what will make America stronger. So the heavens may fall. Justice be done. May the heavens fall. Do the right thing, and that's it. Well, God bless you. Amazing. In the few minutes we've got left, uh, State of the Union, um, you were there, you know, witnessing it all. Obviously, if you're informed, the whole thing is a deception. To see the president, though, saying, I'm going to give you this free. I'm going to give you that free. I mean, it's like he's Hugo Chavez or something. What do you make of this and the carbon taxes and the, the uh, I mean, just all the stuff he was pushing? Alex, the one thing I'd like to say is that one thing he did not mention is the debt of our nation. It is now well over $18 trillion. In March of this year, 2015, in two months, we will have another debate on the floor of the House to raise the debt ceiling to allow the administration to borrow more money from foreign governments to pay the bills from last year. That is one thing that I, I just get upset with my own side. You may mention earlier I did not support. I was one of 24 House members who did not support John Boehner. Uh, I have nothing against him personally, but I don't think he's a good leader and what America needs at this time, or the Republican House. That's right. We need people that don't want to allow the Democrats and Obama to destroy the country. I know you also have been voting to try to stop the open borders. Obama, in his speech, said that he'll veto any legislation that tries to stop his amnesty. It's an executive amnesty by fiat. I mean, why even have a Congress if they allow this to happen? Is Boehner going to try to repeal Obamacare? Is he going to try to block Obama on, on, on open borders? Well, Alex, that, that's the problem. I, I, I was for impeaching the president when he allowed those children to come to this country illegally. And, and yet our leadership in, in Washington, we had a vote on the House floor to approve a lawsuit by the speaker to sue the president over presidential executive orders, that's probably going to cost two or three million dollars. I said, why don't you just follow the Constitution? If you think that the president is out of line or out of control or not following the Constitution, then do what the Constitution says we have the authority to do. Sure, it was a stalling tactic. It'll take years with the suit. Uh, so that Boehner doesn't get in trouble. Um, finally, sir, sure. uh, you have been probably the most outspoken Republican in the Congress, period. And I love Rand Paul. I'm a little disquieted by him talking out of both sides of his mouth about uh, this uh, partnership, uh, this trans-Pacific partnership that WikiLeaks released part of that basically removes authority from the Congress and the president. 
Uh, it's secret. I mean, right there, no one should support it because it's secret. You've been fighting it, and the establishment's been attacking you for that. Uh, give us uh, what you know about the treaty uh, because it's secret. Is there any intel you've got being a congressman? Well, what we're concerned about is especially the two issues, and I, because it's limited time, I'll talk about the uh, trade promotion to give the president the authority to bypass the Constitution. Fast track. Uh, uh, fast track, excuse me. And, and that, that, to me, is an assault on the Constitution and the sovereignty of America. And I am fighting that. I've got other Republicans who have joined me, uh, not many, but a few, and we're working with Democrats, liberals across the aisle. Uh, to, to not allow a president to bypass the Constitution. Seems like a no-brainer. It should be. And thank you for speaking out about this and waking up the American people. Get behind and call your members of Congress and say, say stop giving authority away to the Chinese and to an uh, administration that doesn't care about the Constitution. That's right. That's who's got most of the voting power is the Chinese on this deal. It's incredible. Well, Congressman Jones, please don't thank me. I want to thank you because you're a very serious person and you are really giving them hell on every front. And in the beginning, a patriot's a scarce man, hated and feared. But when it's, in time, when his cause succeeds, the Tim would join him because then it costs nothing to be a patriot, to quote Mark Twain. And just as Ron Paul, 20 years ago, couldn't get a single co-sponsor to audit the Fed, as you know, that's passed twice now. The Senate can barely stop it. We're really getting close. And so God bless you for your leadership, sir. But thank you for allowing me to be on your show. And please, God, continue to bless America. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Thank you so much, Congressman. Bye-bye. All right.